Hello and welcome on the Healing Streams broadcast. The title of this post is Lost Opportunity. Genesis chapter 2 verse 15 to 17. Unlike our world today with many rules and laws, Adam and Eve didn't have to worry about very many rules and regulations. They had only one rule, Da shall not, or in modern version, you shall not, to abide by just one. But they still blew it. The test says, In Genesis chapter 2, verse 16 to 17. And the Lord God commanded the man, saying, Of every tree of the garden you may freely eat, but of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil you shall not eat. For in the day that you eat of it, you shall surely die. Again, Genesis chapter 2, 16 to 17. That tells us a whole lot about God. He is not hung up on rules, rather, He is a God of freedom. In a world that was exactly like God wanted it, there was only one that shall not. And it was put there for you and I to seek freedom within the boundaries of God giving obedience and to establish God's authority over human beings. Freedom with boundaries doesn't seem like freedom to us anymore in our Christian life today. God knew that under his authority and care, people will experience the maximum joy of freedom. This freedom in the Garden of Eden meant the ability and authority to do anything they wanted or the ability and authority to exercise our will with the parameters God establishes. Even in a perfect world, freedom was not the power to do whatever they wanted to do with no consequences. That freedom does not exist. It never has and it never will. Brothers and sisters, we can learn from the experience of Adam and Eve is that sin, not God, robbed people of freedom. Or because Satan threw the serpent lie to Eve and Adam. They fell for it. Every day we are offered the same lie, offered to Adam and Eve. If you want much or maximum freedom, then it is found outside the boundaries of the commandment of God. Try it just once. Or you are missing out. Adam and Eve were tempted by a crafty and intelligent serpent being to question their contentment. The serpent said, Did God really say you must not eat the fruit from any of the trees in the garden? Which means, how could Eve be happy when she was not allowed to eat from one of the fruit trees? Satan helped Eve shift her focus from all that God had done and given that freedom to the one thing he had withheld or withheld the boundaries and parameters. The Lord God placed the man in the garden of Eden to tend and care for it. That is freedom. It looks like that is freedom, right? But the Lord God gave him this warning. You may freely eat any fruit in the garden. That is also freedom, isn't it? Except fruit from the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. 
if you eat of its fruit, you will surely die. I believe that is boundaries and parameter. We all know our times will tell our kids not to go beyond the front door because of the street. Aren't we putting boundaries and parameters to protect them? But Eve was willing to accept Satan's viewpoint without checking with God. It sounds familiar. How often is our attention drawn from the much that is ours freedom to the little that is in boundaries and parameters. We get out. At times it, it does. We normally get that. I've got to have a feeling. Mm. It normally comes upon us. Mm. It was typical of us all. And we consistently show we are her descendants by repeating her mistakes. Our desires like Eve's can be quite easily manipulated. They are not the best basis for actions. It's sin, not God, that robs people of freedom. God is not trying to limit your freedom. That is why we need to keep God, His Word, and the Bible in our decision-making process, always, especially the Bible as our guidebook in decision-making. Unfortunately, the lie continues and people keep falling for it. Satan has been using the same lie since Adam and Eve's experiences in the Garden of Eden. For instance, oh, you can be absolutely free from all rules since you are now a young adult and can take care of yourself. This is America. America is a land of freedom. Oh, you used to be jobless and now set free and with good job. So no need to be serious with your Christian life. You can even join in the church you wish. This is America, the land of freedom. When Adam and Eve opted to exercise their free will, instead of gaining freedom, they lost most of the freedom they already had. With so many voices telling you how to be free, you are not at risk of relinquishing your freedom unless you remain vigilant and equipped for Satan's attack. Freedom with parameters and boundaries doesn't seem like freedom to us anymore, especially in this 21st century. Every day, we are offered the same lie, offered to Adam and Eve. Maximum freedom is found outside the boundaries. Or try it just once. Or you are missing out. We are tempted to reach for something that doesn't exist. Freedom to do whatever we want to. Whenever we want to. And with whomever we please. With zero consequences. We often have to learn the hard way that real freedom lies in obedience to God's truth. Every time people choose to abuse a freedom, they lose a freedom and this amount to lost opportunity. Each and every day, we are tempted to seek freedom outside the boundaries of obedience, concerns in our finances. Such a problem in a world that seeks to find significance through buying stuff. As a result, setting ourselves up for financial bondage that no one wants to experience. I've heard people say, it's my money, it's my life. No, it's a gift from God. Anyone who seeks freedom by spending money loses the freedom of being free from the stress of financial debt, bill collectors, collection agencies, and etc. For instance, more couples have had married divorce over financial problems than for almost any 
other reason. The love of things has cost persons their freedom. We seek and seek freedom in entertainment as well, with less and less consent for moral values. We also see freedom in speech, yet verbal abuse leaves bruises, and words are a powerful tool that can either uplift or tear down fellow people. But today, we are seeing and hearing different voices on social media, tearing down human dignity in the name of free speech. There are unbelievable pressures on teenagers as well to exercise in quotes rights to be free of parental control. Hmm. Some have even gone so far as to sue their parents so that they can make their own choices without parental interference. Why do that leave them? And with the recent young adult moral decay, Hmm. Even experts are finding it difficult to find solutions to it. Aren't you sure? We've left the Bible out of our lives. Every time people choose to abuse their freedom, they lose their freedom. God created us. And he knows how we function best. Freedom is found within the confines of God's commandments and boundaries. As we notice how God places boundaries in our relationship to provide the best arena for said relationship to grow and experience joy, peace, tranquility, and God's mercies. And give us rules to protect us from sin and its consequences. Real freedom means to welcome the responsibility it brings, to welcome the God control it requires, to welcome the discipline that it resolves, and to welcome the maturity it creates. Avoiding lost opportunity means exercising our freedom to choice by seeking and following God's direction. The reason God made up that one rule in the Garden of Eden is to protect Adam and Eve from evil and also establishing certain parameters that they adhere to for their well-being. Providing for an order of authority. Setting into motion the framework for an optional relationship between the creator and the created. Brothers and sisters in the Lord. Yes, we've been called by this wonderful, gracious God who is also seeking our well being. Therefore, Wise decision making comes from seeking God's wisdom. As the writer of Proverbs informs us, wise choices come from seeking God's will. You want to make wise choices in 2022? Then this is the time to begin seeking. God's will. Searching through scriptures, meditating, waiting upon the Lord, seeking through that childlike faith, always humbly coming to His presence. Yes, wise choices come from seeking God's will. They result in following God's ways and God's plans. Thus, 
avoiding lost opportunity. God bless you and thank you for listening. Bye-bye.